from Asia and like every other region in the world, the pandemic has hit the job market of Bangladesh very hard. From the poor workers to new job seekers and even those who lost their jobs during the pandemic, how have they been coping up? A ground report from Dhaka tells you more about it. Nazma Begum is the only survivor in the family of three sisters and parents. She used to work in the garments business, but has not had a job for two months. Now, she is looking for new opportunities. Ahmad Ali works for the Pathau Motorcycle Service, where he used to earn his livelihood via ride sharing. In the prevailing conditions, almost no one calls a ride. I got a 50 percent commerce call. I get a gas, I get a Masharadin, Art Gonda Judicas Kutam, Azar Barafuda in Kamashto. I get a Ramada Konasa, Tasho Pashota Rukamashi. There are more stories of people losing their jobs and wandering the streets during this epidemic. Besides job losses, the situation is made worse by the job market, which has not yet opened up for fresh seekers. About 2 million young people enter the job market in Bangladesh every year. A large number of them try to enter either the public or the private sector upon completing their undergraduate or postgraduate studies. The unemployment rate in the country is already high. Now, the coronavirus has exacerbated that crisis. Around 68% of the people who were working in the urban areas of Dhaka and the port city of Chattogram have lost their jobs due to the pandemic, according to a World Bank report. The rate of the job losses was 76% in the capital, while it was 59% in the port city, said the report titled Losing Livelihoods, the Labour Market Impacts of COVID-19 in Bangladesh. However, people lost their jobs mostly in the garment sector during this corona epidemic. In Bangladesh, 4 million workers work in the garment sector alone. But the corona epidemic has shut down 34 large and medium-sized garment companies. In the just concluded 2019 to 2020 fiscal year, Bangladesh's exports decreased by 6,860 million US dollars. After independence, there has never been such a big collapse in exports. As a result, the Garment Workers Trade Union says at least 110,000 workers have lost their jobs due to the COVID-19 crisis. According to the International Labour Organization, one out of every six young persons in the world is unemployed due to the coronavirus crisis and one out of every four young people in Bangladesh is unemployed. And that accounts for 26.39%. According to the latest data from the Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics, in Bangladesh, 3.8% employment is in the public sector, 14.2% in the non-government sector, 60.9% in the private sector and 21.1% in other sectors. But in the wake of the coronavirus crisis, many large corporations, including banking and financial institutions, have decided to cut staff salaries. Many organizations are cutting staff as well to reduce costs and most companies have stopped hiring new staff. Prominent economist Nazneen Ahmed fears that inequality between rich and poor will increase and unemployment could slow the country's growing per capita income. One estimation shows that nearly 1.6 million new poor have been added to our uh, population. So um, the situation is like that, that because of this job loss, uh, people's income have uh, gone down and many poor people are having a problem. And this has posed a risk on the uh, inequality situation in Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, a large part of the population beats unemployment through overseas employment. But it has been a disaster on that front also. Every year, at least one million working people of Bangladesh are employed abroad. 
but this year that path is almost closed due to global corona crisis. Besides, at least one lakh Bangladeshi migrant workers have been forced to return to the country after losing their jobs since last March. That is why economists fear a dire impact on the country's job market. For the past one week, about 40,000 migrant workers have been protesting in the capital, demanding their return to work. Trapped in the lockdown, most of them are unable to return as their visas and work permit have expired. As a result, they are worried about both livelihood and life, both of which are at risk. Bureau report, we on World is One.